Hey, oh, this is me, Brian. It's Monday, uh, the 30th, I think. No, let's see, yesterday was the 27th, today is the 28th. You're looking at the Valley Metro light rail, sitting at the 38th Street platform. All right. And beautiful blonde lady in, in black Kia. <laughs> Anyways, today we are everybody's supposed to go back to work, right? I mean, if you, if you have a job, you should be getting ready to go to work right now, right? Or, or, or if I posted this thing later tonight, you should, you should have already went to work by now. Me, I'm headed over to my friend Lisa's house, give her a power cord for her computer, and then probably from there go eat lunch and then go to work. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> go to work. I think we're supposed to work two days this week, Monday and Tuesday, and then have the rest of the week off like we did this past week. Right for the, oh, look at this. A weed envelope. Well, what was in it? That, that definitely had weed in it. Not worth scraping though. Nah. Seven dollars and 10 or 7.10 grams. That's probably what it was, quarter. We're gonna take the shortcut here, right? This is the water runoff right, for Washington Street right here. When it rains and you know, floods and all that stuff, because when it rains, water runs, just runs down Washington like a river. Runs down Grand to Peoria too, the same way. Oh. Careful, whoa. Yep. Well, anyways, you know, life in the big city, you know, hasn't changed much, right? I mean, you know, Phoenix is kind of unusual because there's so many different people from here, you know, here that are from somewhere else. You see, and that, that nobody has any expectations of what's going to happen, right? Because the government here is pretty steady, right? You know, old Governor Doug. And all the governors before him, you know, saying they, they seriously took, you know, civil service to heart and, and they performed their duties as, as best they could within the legal limits of the law for us, the people. They do. Right now, so a lot of us might, you know, might disagree with how they do it, right? Or, or the laws that they pass to enforce it, right? But in the end, you see, everybody pretty much, you know, accepts the status quo and we go from there. Right, so, I mean, Governor Doug, I think, I'm not real sure if he did or he didn't, because, you know, I seen it, started to see it on TV, but then, you know, changed my mind. Right, but I'm not sure if he's ordered the stupid lockdown again or not. Because if he did, nobody, nobody's paying attention. <laughs> it's primarily mostly for the state employees Right, and you know, related employees to other companies that you know contract with the state. Right, so I mean, here it's like you know, business is normal. Right, there, I mean, yeah, there's still a few places closed. Well, actually, there's still like a lot of places closed. You know, but but they're they're incidental. You know, the pe people that want to stay closed is, is who they are. Right, because here, I mean, everybody's open. I mean, except for like the schools. This is Gateway College right here. Right, schools are all closed, but Paris, but Paris is big one hotel over there is open, doing bang up business. Yeah, they are. Right, everything up and down. You know, the prostitutes ain't they haven't slowed down. Right, the drug dealers are still going. Yeah, full blast. Right, They're pushing them blue pills all over the damn place. We're still recording. Area lock, A-E-A-F lock, what the hell? I didn't figure out what that means. I gotta figure it out. All right. Anyways, right, so COVID-19, I mean, we're, we're, Arizona's still well under the national average. I mean, I don't know what the numbers are, but you know, they can't be much higher than, you know, 10,000 people that have died. And, you know, probably 30 or 40,000 people that have gotten COVID-19. I'm not real sure on that, but you know, that's, but like the last time I looked at it, that's about where it was. 
which wasn't, you know, like a week or so ago. All right. We talk, I was talking to some fellas the other day, right? And this young lady walked up and she started talking about COVID-19 and, and all the dead people, right? And then she asked the question out loud that me and Total 187 and a few other people, Gmail, right? Have been asking all along. And that's, if, if, all, if all these millions of people died, well then where the hell are they buried? Or did they burn them all up? Turn them in ashes. And if they did that, then where's all the empty jars? Some some fucking right, some mortuary company got, you know, made, they made billions selling them dumb jars. Right? I'm just like flies, you know, like the common house fly. Oh man. It's like the common house fly. Right? There's millions and billions of them flying around. But what something people don't know is, is that their average lifespan is like seven to ten days. Right? In those seven to ten days, they lay as many eggs as they possibly can on poop or rotten meat or, you know, bananas, peels, whatever, whatever they can land on. They lay an egg on it every time they land. Right? And it creates billions more for house life. Right? Well, check this out. If they only live seven to ten days, right, and there's billions of them flying around laying eggs, then where the fuck are they all? Where are their little skeletal bodies? Right? Because it still, it still takes at least 25 days, right, for, you know, for tissue, you know, organic tissue to break down. That, and that's everything. Plants, you know, sticks, bugs, people. You know, that anything that's, you know, organic takes at least a minimum 25 days you know, to break down and dissolve. Ow, I'm gonna get tired. Woo! Man, I gotta find myself. Anyways, so, you know, this, this young lady was like, you know, well, I, I ain't seen nobody die, I ain't seen anybody die, I don't even know anybody who's got COVID-19. Well, neither do I. That doesn't mean it's not real, that just means it's not out there, right? It's just because you, you know, you haven't come into contact with somebody, but when you do, you'll know, right? And uh, they've been giving out the vaccine shots. Downtown, you know, like different places, bar beans. CVS, you know, the two pharmacy chains here, right? The state's been giving them out over some of the state health buildings, right? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of corporate, you know, a lot of corporations, you know, big time, high dollar shit, right? That are, you know, giving their employees a shot right there at the start, you know, at the place, you know? Right, so, you know, I, I, you know, once again, I don't really know the number, but I would imagine there's quite a few people that have taken the vaccine. I mean, I, I'm not gonna. I never took a flu shot, right? And 